Hey, how's it going, guys? Is that I here? So, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we got yet another remaster that is also happening. Not, It's just not enough, you know, with the Horizon Zero Dawn remaster already basically it's real and it's coming sooner rather than later, perhaps sometime in the, well, this year in fact, because, well, they got the ESRB rating, so it basically means at the minimum of the of a month we should actually see this game and getting released and perhaps some people even uh, g gathering it up and actually, you know, just experiencing it for themselves once again or for the first time ever nevertheless is that a lot of people are quite frustrated right because there's so many remasters that are being done and yet like already you can see by the title of this video yeah we're getting yet another remaster oh my god this is information is coming from jeb grub basically he confirms it and you know anything he mentions relating to this i believe him and yet i can just take this concretely yeah basically it's a confirmation Days Gone, yep, Days Gone Remaster is happening, and like mentioned, Dave, uh, Jeff Grubb is, has confirmed it. It's just an awkward position that this whole thing is in, because if you guys know Days Gone, actually received a major patch that unlocks it to 60 FPS on PlayStation 5. And on top of that, it also received plenty of DLCs and you know some features additions to the game. And now when we are seeing that yet again, once again, getting a game getting a remaster, but yet people always question and say, what is the point of all these remasters? Where are the games games? You know what I mean? And that's understandable. It's not like as if PlayStation doesn't have any games at all. It's, that's not true at all. But it's just that it's frustrating. So many people are only experiencing PlayStation 5 mostly because of the remasters that has been already played on PlayStation 4 version. And that's just the problem, that's the issue. You know, because you have already experienced, like myself, I've already experienced Days Gone on PlayStation 4. Honestly though, I played it on day one, or I think maybe day two or three or so. Basically, uh, well the game was pretty broken uh, at launch, because if you guys did not know, initially when Days Gone released, I believe it was in 2019, on um, PlayStation 4, even PlayStation 4 Pro, the game was just the performance, there were so many bugs and issues and the performance was outrageous. After a few years, of course, the game got patched through the hell. Well, obviously, because it needed it for sure. And now it's completely stable and works fine, perfectly well. And on, even on PlayStation 5 version of Days Gone, if you're playing a PlayStation 4 on it, it's just that it works well. It's constantly 60 FPS. It is pretty much bug free. There are a few, you know, bugs are still present, but it's not as bad as it was initially. And of course, there's also extra content within this game that over the years it received in terms of the challenges and uh, just extra goodies that you can do and have uh, while experiencing Days Gone, if you, of course, if you wish. And now, of course, now we're seeing a remaster for Days Gone and the game is about to be f what is it maybe about to be or, uh, you know, basically it's five years old and now a lot of people are frustrated. It's like. We've already seen Last of Us Part 2 getting a remaster. We've already seen Last of Us Part 1 getting a remaster, even in fact a remake. And then we're seeing now Horizon uh, Zero Dawn getting a remaster. It's just, it feels like too many games are getting a remaster. And when we are asking for, for one specific game that genuinely uh, actually needs a remaster, it never gets any sorts of light of day. And of course, I'm talking about Bloodborne. Like, what is going on with that game? Why is there no talk about this game at all? And yeah, there are rumors, but again, rumors mean nothing if they're not credible. And yeah, we always get every week a goddamn rumor about Bloodborne getting a remaster or even a remake. Honestly, I think that uh, we should not expect anything relating to Bloodborne. I think if we would have heard, you know, if we would have been getting a Bloodborne remaster sometime soon, we would have already heard from very uh, reliable, credible uh, leakers. And instead, I think that Bloodborne is gonna get a remaster or even a remake by the time PlayStation 6 launches. And yeah, basically we'll still have to wait an additional four years until it, until we can see the PlayStation 6. Insane, right? And I mean, that's totally understandable since Bloodborne will move the sales. On top of that, imagine if Bloodborne would be the launch, like remaster I'm talking about. It would have been releasing like in a month or two, right? Like for the PlayStation 5 Pro. My god, people are would have been eating that up. Seriously. I mean, everybody would have been going pick up the PlayStation 5 Pro because like if Bloodborne runs best on PlayStation 5 Pro, the remaster version obviously, you know it. People are going to go crazy for that title. And I mean, Sony sees that. 
they do. But maybe that's why they want to take this initiative and make sure that people will transition from PlayStation 5 to PlayStation 6 if there's Bloodborne, uh, Bloodborne remaster or a remake only for the PlayStation 6 because they they know that people will go over to the PlayStation 6 ecosystem and purchase it as quickly as possible on day one. It is very profitable, it's understandable. Now a lot of people will be asking why is there so many remasters in general and yet we're not getting the one that we want. Like I already mentioned why we're not getting Bloodborne remastered because of the PlayStation 6 I believe so but they just want to keep that on hold. But Regarding of the rest of the remasters and why it feels like we're only getting remasters for days on PlayStation 5 is because, as I heard, or this, uh, what alluded to me, is that there are some new teams, right? There's some new developers. They need to have some kind of project in works. They need to get hang on hang of things. And, you know, remastering a game that's been already released, it doesn't take too much uh, resources, manpower, nor cash. And so this means that people can actually, well, the developers, the new developers can actually get the grips on the, uh, you know, projects, on the programming and everything relating to develop their games and starting with this and making a remasters. And that's actually not, when it was explained like this, you know, I don't think that's actually a bad idea. I, I actually think if that's the case, if this is truly the cause, actually, now that I think about it, make every game remastered. I don't see much of an issue with that because if there's not so many resources money time even going into these remasters and that's true like it just doesn't i i think that that's all that's good i think it's good because newcomers definitely need experiences and if they have experiences and they can craft them and make remasters let them do it i think that's actually a good move you know because there's so many people working for sony's you know just in the ecosystem over, overall I think that's actually a good move. Uh, again, I can see uh, still why people are going to get frustrated due to this. It's also not a question, how much will it be for this remaster? This also actually really includes Horizon Zero Dawn and, yeah, of course, Days Gone remasters. Like, is it going to be the similar approach as it was done for The Last of Us Part 2? I think that's the best approach. Some people are already expecting to see $40, pri uh, $40 price tag for the Horizon Zero Dawn and, of course, it's Days Gone. My God, please don't. That that would be like very scummy. That's like in, when you see how many remasters has been done on the PlayStation 5 uh, from the PS4's release of the games. I think that's a very bad idea. I think they should just go with the same way they've done with The Last of Us Part 2 remaster I'm talking about, of course. $10 upgrade. And make sure you have the game actually purchased before. Or have a physical copy, of course, of it. And yeah, I, yeah, there could be some complications because I did hear that. Well, I didn't hear it. I know Horizon Zero Dawn actually was free for everybody. So I don't know how that would really would work. Like, do you have to repurchase the game again? Is that even possible? You know what I mean? Because like you have it in the library. I don't know. Look, there, there's always some things that can be brought up as a question, but yet there's just not enough answers and results that can be going by so people can actually have a clear mind of things in regarding what is the direction of PlayStation going ahead. It is a very scary future, honestly. Like, it can be very scummy and greedy. I actually got a video about that coming tomorrow, guys. Please stay tuned for it. And uh, I'm worried. I'm very much worried. But again, like I already mentioned, the positive in this, I think it's actually a good move for the newcomers, new developers, actually making these remasters if that's the that's the cause let them i think but again yeah i understand the frustration i do i do anyway thank you so much for watching guys like and subscribe see you guys all and have a wonderful day